and now I want to quickly explain the implementation of the uh, in of what I, I've talked um, until now in Python. So here um, I use um, a few libraries, uh, NumPy, because it allows you, uh, us to uh, do the vector calculation and matrix calculations easier, and also Matplotlib to plot the to visualize the robot. And yeah, so this class contains all the functions that performs the calculations. Um, so the this function implements what we just talked now. So finding length a and then find alpha one, alpha two, and alpha three to get theta one, and also by and then also by finding length b and then using length b we can find beta one, beta two, and beta three, which can be then used to find theta two and theta three. And also notice that um, I've added a few more lines of code here, which is to calculate the uh, location of each joint. Uh, ju this, these are just to plot the robot's leg, uh, like this this one. But um, it it might not be necessary if we if you just want to calculate the angles theta one, theta two, and theta three. And also, I added a simple function here. Um, this function allows you to um, adjust the um, theta two, uh, theta one, theta two, and theta three, depending on your configuration of your robot. And this is implemented here. So uh, these are just to add some offsets if the robot robots, for example, if one of your servo a servo has like offset um you can edit here or subtract it, the offsets here to um, make sure the angles match and yeah uh these these were these uh, inverse kinematics in, um equations uh implemented in python and here one important one this is what this function adds the effect of rotating the robot's body, uh, robot's body, as well as the effects of shifting the center of rotation, and yeah, so so uh, you the input is the coordinate and how much you want to rotate, which is so this is roll, pitch, and yaw, and also which legs, and also if it's if the angles are in radians or not, and also the coordinate of the center of rotation here. So, and it it, it does what it, it adds the effect here, and then um, then passes on the result into the in, the normal inverse kinematics function, and then returns returns these values back. And yeah, I think that's basically it for now. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment sections. I will try my best to answer your questions. And thank you for watching. See you next time.